Hi. This is a series of exercises to release the hip flexors, primarily the psoas muscle, which attaches from the front of the pelvis to the lower back. This is level one, beginners level, so simple exercises. It's become a common problem in our society and world today as we spend more and more time sitting in chairs, sitting in front of the TV, sitting in front of the computer. And the two most common scenarios are the pelvis being like this, as we try to perhaps sit up too straight, we spend a long time in chairs, as opposed to the pelvis being more neutral. So the, the forward pelvis position tends to look something like this, as opposed to like this. The other scenario is where the pelvis sits back like this and we're in a more of a slouched position, which is not necessarily worse, but is common for a lot of us, and the pelvis then looks something like this. So we're going to do a combination of lengthening the hip flexors, the front of the pelvis, and activating the muscle on the front of the pelvis which helps push blood away and then when we release blood comes back and then we'll also do some releases for the lower back first one is with a blanket over the end of a table like this and this one is to release the lower back so place yourself right on the edge of a table like this so that the pelvis is hanging off the end turn your head to one side hold on firmly onto the table make sure that you've got space for the pelvis to hang off lift your knees let the thighs and knees be heavy to bring a little bit of traction to the lower back and to allow the pelvis to become heavy breathing can be difficult in this position but try to still breathe into the belly and a little bit longer see if you can let the thighs be heavy the knees be heavy to create a little bit of length in the lower back take a small breath into the belly then place the feet down come up from there then we're going to use the blanket for under the head sit right on the edge of the table better to use a table than a soft surface like a bed sit bones are right off the end of the table lie back place the blanket or pillow under the head and neck hold both knees lengthen the lower back keep holding the left knee let the right leg drop down a little Make sure that the lower back is in contact with the table and watch that your ribs are not poking up like this and the lower back is lifting. If you're not able to reach your left thigh or knee, use a belt either behind the left thigh or in front of the left shin. Then in this position, we're going to do a little contract release so once you've got the front of the hip in a lengthened position very slightly lift the knee and inhale and exhale and release keep holding the left knee again inhale slightly lift the knee exhale release one more time inhale lift the knee exhale release hold both knees again holding the right knee let the left leg drop down again with the bent knee keep the lower back in contact with the table slightly lift the left knee inhale exhale release I notice it's just a very small lift Slightly lift the left knee, inhale, exhale, release. One more time, slightly lift the left knee, inhale, 
exhale release hold both knees release the lower back take a breath into the belly and then to come up from there roll onto your side especially if you have a lower back issue and come up to sitting then the next series of exercises will be on the floor and the first uh, of the floor exercises you're going to need a couple of uh, balls like this rubber balls just bouncy balls that you can get at any toy store and we're going to place the balls just on the inside of the hip bones here so if you take the crease in the pelvis place them about midway down and you're going to lie on your belly with the balls in that area once you've got yourself settled with the balls in place just check that the front of the hip bones are just above where you have the balls and then drop the pelvis down onto the balls pubic bone moving down slightly so that the lower back is long and not arched up like this so you want a bit of length in the lower back and then just allow yourself to rest there for a moment my suggestion is that you pause the video at this point for about three to five minutes and just let yourself settle onto the balls to bring some pressure onto that area once you've lain there for three to five minutes then bend both knees and release again press the pubic bone down into the floor bend both knees and release one more time bend both knees now if you're able to you can reach back and hold your ankles if you're not able to do that that's fine then just leave them in the air and take a breath into the belly and then release that remove the balls from under the pelvis then get yourself a block or a hard covered book something like this it's approximately two to two and a half centimeters so not a very not very much height and lie onto your back lift up the pelvis and place the block under the pelvis hold both knees in so this one is slightly different to the one over the table because the knee is not as bent and then we're going to straighten out the right leg but keep the knee slightly bent important thing here is that the kneecap faces up to the ceiling and doesn't roll out to the side keep holding your left knee if you're not able to comfortably hold the knee use a belt behind the shin or knee squeeze the right buttock relax squeeze the right buttock again relax one more time squeeze the right buttock relax take the right arm up lengthen down that whole right side make the right heel light as if you're about to lift the leg and then inhale into the belly bend the right knee hold both knees to release the back extend the left leg out same thing keep the left knee slightly bent left knee cap facing up to the ceiling squeeze the left buttock to tighten that then relax it squeeze the left buttock relax it one more time squeeze the left buttock relax it take the left arm up 
next to the side of the head and then make the left heel slightly light as if you're about to lift the leg but not actually lifting it take a small breath into the belly and lengthen out that whole left side bend the left knee, hold both knees, release the back remove the block from under the pelvis then the next one you may need a belt and we're going to lie on the side so you're either going to hold your foot like this if you're not able to hold your foot then use a belt over the front of the ankle and top of the foot so if you're really tight in the front of the thigh and hip flexor that may be difficult for you to hold the foot and it's important here that your heel moves toward the outside of the buttock so not like this but more like this then the contract relax here is you press your foot into your hand as if you try to straighten the leg and then relax and bend a little bit further press your foot into your hand as if you're trying to straighten relax lengthen the front of the thigh and hip one more time press your foot into your hand like trying to straighten relax and allow the front of the thigh to lengthen finally move the tailbone slightly forward take a breath into the belly release roll on to the other side so we'll do the left side next again if you're going to use a belt put the belt over the front of the ankle or the front of the foot take the heel toward the outside of the buttock so the thigh turns in slightly rather than out press your foot into the hand or into the belt like trying to straighten release bend the knee a little further again press the foot into the hand like trying to straighten the leg or into the belt release bend a little further one more time press the foot into the hand or into the belt like trying to straighten the knee release bend a little further finally move the tailbone forward slightly and take a small breath into the belly roll over onto your back and just to release the back hold both knees into your chest come up onto your hands and knees now on the hands and knees take the right leg forward left leg back and be something like this if your hands are not able to touch the floor take a block under each hand or a book and in this position you can let your knee just go slightly over the ankle it's more comfortable that way and you're going to in order to release the front of the pelvis you're going to make as if you're dragging your left knee forward inhale and then relax and exhale so slightly pull the left knee forward inhale relax exhale and you drop a little bit deeper as you exhale one more time inhale drag the left knee forward exhale drop a little bit deeper switch sides take the right leg back left leg forward same thing hands onto the floor or onto blocks 
drag the right knee forward a little bit, inhale into the belly, exhale, relax the pelvis a bit forward, inhale, drag the right knee forward, exhale, relax the pelvis, look slightly forward, one more time, inhale, drag the right knee forward, exhale, drop the pelvis a little bit further. Come back from there and just to release the back, sit with the knees apart. Then take the head down toward the floor, rest the head on the floor or on a block, rest for a moment. If that's not comfortable for your knees, another option is to take the head onto the floor with the ribs lifted so that the back is lengthened and the buttocks are not dropping toward the heels like this. And otherwise, just rest for a moment with the head resting and the buttocks resting toward the heels. Take a breath into the belly. Come back onto your hands and knees. In this position, release the head down and inhale, lift the ribs, inhale into the belly, exhale, look a little forward, inhale, lift the ribs, exhale, look forward and lift just the right leg with a bent knee, inhale, bring the knee forward toward the chest, Exhale, lift just the right leg. Release. Lift the ribs again, inhale. Exhale, lift just the left leg. Inhale, knee toward the chest. Exhale, lift the left leg again. Come back, lift the ribs. And the last exercise for this level one beginner's hip flexor releasing series, we'll use a blanket. And this one, the most challenging part is on your foot. So we're going to take the right foot back behind you like this. Now, if this is difficult for you because of knee issues, then you could sit on some more height. But the important thing here is the position of your foot. It may be difficult to see with the video, but you want to make sure that your ankle is not doing like this. It's not poking out, but try to bring the ankle in. So it's like this ankle is moving toward the midline of the body. And also that your ankle is not collapsed like this. So there's some length that comes to the back of the Achilles tendon. So that I'll just show that one more time. So you draw the outer ankle in and then lengthen the Achilles. And for this first series, we're just going to stay like this. Lengthen the tailbone forward and take a breath into the belly. So there's a feeling here as if you're trying to straighten the leg. That brings some activation to the front of the thigh and then relax a little deeper. One more time, as if you're trying to straighten the right leg. Release. Switch sides. Take the left leg back. Again, watch the ankle. Let the outer ankle move toward the inside slightly and get a little bit of length through the Achilles tendon tailbone lengthening 
and then as if you're trying to straighten that left leg then release and lengthen so you'll notice I'm getting some length through the lower back you don't want to be like this in this position because then you're not really lengthening your hip flexors it's important that you get this kind of position tailbone lengthening lower back lengthening make as if you're trying to straighten the left leg release if you do that regularly you'll see slowly some length starts to come so once you feel like you can do all of those exercises with ease then you can move to level two in the level two exercises I'll be wearing red uh, so then you can progress to level two for a few weeks or maybe a few months before you get to level three thank you and namaste